Hello and welcome to another episode of Game On, I am Slash Raptor, and this is the first episode of the post-game A Pokemon Shield version. Um, I think we can go with... You. No, wait, better idea. Let's go with Excalibur. So a lot of stuff to explain. I've been... It's been a long, long time since I've done a video. Actually, it's probably not that long. It's probably been about the same amount of time between um, the last episode that I that, that was in here. Because I did the final two episodes after a four or five day break because I wanted to grind my Pokemon up. And so I did, I did it that way. Um, but now there's been about another three or four days. It is currently uh, January 16th. Uh, 2020, and I started this playthrough on January 30, uh, on uh, December 31st, 2019. So that's how much time has passed since I started this thing, and I'm hopefully going to finish this either today or tomorrow because I only had one class today, and I have no classes on Fridays, and then there's all of Sat of of Sunday because I got stuff going on on Saturday, and then yeah. So basically what I'm going to be doing in this episode is leveling up some Pokemon uh, because that is what I find to be the most fun. That is my favorite thing to do in Pokemon games is take a Pokemon, put it in my party, level it up, raise it from a low level to a high level and experience how it becomes stronger and what kind of moves it learns and kind of sort of fall in love with it. So in that regard, um, that is what I've been doing mostly. Some of the Pokemon that are in, gonna, that are going to be used, uh, you have not seen before. Others you have. Uh, I'll go over all of that in time. But right now, what we're doing is a couple of max raids so that I can get some candies um, for hopefully obvious reasons. Is that a shiny Gigantamax Garbodor? That's pretty cool if it is. Okay, so this is just a random battle with a Whimsicott. Yeah, Whimsicott. I thought it was Whimsicott, but no, it is not Whimsicott. That would be silly. Okay, so we have Excalibur in here, and um, you will notice that in the graphics I have changed the word deaths and replaced it with champion, an exclamation mark, because from this point on, um, the deaths no longer matter. We are, we are done the challenge. The main challenge was to beat the game and beat the, the champion, and we did that. There was a lot of hardships and a lot of deaths, and a lot of us sacrificing other Pokemon that I didn't care about to bring back some people that did die. But now it doesn't matter because now it's just fun and I can use any Pokemon, even ones that are still in the dead box if I want to. Because this is the post game, so this is just the fun part. Um, at the end of the last episode I mentioned that we were going to go to Surchester and there is a powerful Pokemon trainer there that you can battle once you become the champion, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna level up some Pokemon a little bit more Maybe do some evolutions, do a little bit of running around in the wild area, and I want to explain all the things that I've done. And then, if there's time, we'll start up the post-game story, which I hear there is. So I guess what we're going to try and do after that is end it with me catching Zemenzetsa. Yeah. <clears throat> so, lots of stuff planned, and I'm pretty excited to sit down and do it. Oh wow, there's a lot of shiny Pokemon on my side. There's a shiny Arcanine, there's a shiny Charizard, and I think that's a shiny Garbodor, too. Okay, so there is that. Okay, so the first shield is down. Now we, I mean I, can get in there with an Iron Head, because that's really the only move that's super effective. For some reason, I thought it was a Grass Psychic type, um, and so then I, I chose the wrong Pokemon to bring in here. I'm actually having significantly better luck getting uh, to join in on these. It really is just luck, but uh, you still have that horrible thing where you'll see a person that, according to the stamp, says that is searching for, for, for people, you click on it, and either the session is closed, or there's already too many people, or um, they can't find a communication partner. So you, you still get that, but I've been getting enough battles done where I have been able to get enough candies. And if I don't do that, then I, ha I have a new strategy that I'll show you later. And that's been working out pretty well. 
And if I can't join something else, then I've also been having a quite decent luck with uh, inviting people into my games. So for anything that I find in the wild area, like one of those big uh, max raid battles, I can bring in other people to help me. If it's a four star or lower, then I can do it myself and I don't need help, but those five stars are tricky because of the four death maximum. And uh, this Whimsicott, we just beat really quickly. Might as well just catch it. I don't really want it, but we'll, we'll just catch it. Might even break out. But we'll see. We'll, we will see. So let's see if we can get this Whimsicott. I believe that's the evolved form of Katini, but I don't remember. So I know that it can break out. I thought that it was a guaranteed capture, but then there were some that I did not catch. But I don't know if it will do the thing where it will shake and then break out. I think in max raid battles, you're either going to catch it or you're not. So if it breaks out, it's going to break out immediately. And if it doesn't break out, then it doesn't break out. Alright, so we got quite a bit of loot here. And Whimsicott will be added to the Pokedex. No, I will not give it a nickname because I don't want it. Alright, so... Let me just go over and show you all of the new stuff that I've been doing lately. Because there is quite a lot of it. So, um, I've got some new team members, and I've leveled up some people that you probably thought you would never see again, and all kinds of stuff. So, here, starting from this, let's, let's see what's currently in my party. Dr. Fetus, we know him. The Beast is back. Chewy is back. This is a Hawlucha that I've had sitting there for a while. Kind of want to try him out. And this is a Ralts that I breeded from a Curlier that I caught in a Max Raid battle a while ago. And this is a Helium tile that I got in a Wild Trade. Um, and so you can see this here. So now that is finished. Let's run over here and I'm going to show you everything that is in the box itself. Because there's quite a lot of stuff in there. So let's do this. Okay, so, first, Whimsicott, GTFO, don't need you. So you can take a look here. Uh, some of these are new. This is new, I think. This is a fancy El Cremi. It's not shiny, but I, I didn't realize this at first, but um, El Cremi is like the Vivion from Gen... from... Uh, from Gen 6, where depending on which region, region you're in, it'll have different color schemes, but it's not shiny, because the one that I usually get is pink. And then I found this one in a Max Raid battle. Um, so that's a different color for me. And then there's a Giant Haxorus, which I was planning on breeding at some point, but I probably won't use because I've already got a lot of Dragon types here. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff in here, really. And that is a different uh, Dreepy. I don't know where... I don't know where Jorge went. I, I, don't, I don't think I have him anymore. Okay, so this is Big Bertha, we've seen that. This is Ringo, we've seen that. This is Ashton, we've seen that. This is Thomas, we've seen that. There's Pira, Nilbog, Cuddles, and a new face, Coldfish, which is one of the favorite nicknames that I've ever given to something. Um, it's a play on words, and it's a double entendre, and a triple entendre. Because it's it's like codfish, but it's, it's an ice water, so it's a cold fish. And also, Coldfish and Goldfish. So, there's that. I'm pretty proud of it myself. He, um... I am kind of on the fence about him, but looking at his moves, he will learn good moves. He has a really powerful move that he's going to learn in a couple of levels. Um, but he does not... He did not learn very good moves as, as it was. And uh, during my training of him, I've spent a lot of money boosting his um, attack. I think I boosted his special attack and his speed... And so now his special attack and attack are pretty close. So 30 points up isn't that bad. So I have him using a mixture of special and physical attacks here. Um, at 63, he's going to learn a move called Ficious Rend, which sounds really cool. Um, and then that's a physical move. And then at level 67, he will learn Icicle Crash, which is a physical ice move. So I will probably go with both of those. But for right now, he knows Freeze Dry, Waterfall, Ice Beam, and Surf. So what I've done here is I've split up all of the Pokemon uh, based on which, based on where and how I acquired them. So all the Pokemon on this side were ones that, we, that I caught myself and raised in the episodes. And then all the ones on the other side are ones that I got from Wonder Trades or Link Trades. 
So you can see here is Goober. He was he is the, this is the same um, crow gunk that I sacrificed during the water gym. I was trying an experiment that didn't work um, because the AI was too smart for me and he died. But now that I don't have to worry about Pokemon dying, I took him out of the box, leveled him up, and evolved him, and he's actually pretty good. Um, I, I probably said at some point that he was not a very good poison type and not a very good fighting type. He is actually pretty decent. So um, his, his learn set is not as good, but he's compatible with a lot of decent TMs and TRs. So I taught him Cross Poison, Drain Punch, Brick Break, and Sludge Bomb. So pretty solid moveset, as long as I don't send him up against anything that's, you know, like a Psychic type, because it'll just... It'll just destroy him. Let me just heal first, because I noticed that he's got a few things there. Okay. So, ooh, that Halucha gets pretty big in that animation, because I know it's kind of tiny, but they, they seem to kind of zoom him in. Alright, so let's go back here. And so then we've got... Um, then we've got Mahjong over here. We've got Excalibur over here. We've got Zidane over here. And I did end up getting a TR for Zen Headbutt. And I replaced uh, whatever move I had. I think it was Electro Ball. I replaced that, and then I used a PP Max that I got um, on his uh, Pyro Ball move. So Zidane is just kind of sh chilling out over there. And then up here we've got Quincy, who's level 61. And I used um, one of those... I used 10 HP ups on him for $100,000. And now his HP is pretty decent. And um, he's he's pretty balanced. He's he's quite good now. The only issue I ha ever had with Quincy was that he's not very po he's not really strong. Like he, he doesn't have a lot of life. But he he's pretty decent now. So he knows uh, Shadow Ball, Snipe Shot, Ice Beam, and Surf, because he's definitely well. Actually, his attack isn't bad. So whatever. But yeah. So that's Quincy. And here's a new face that you haven't seen before. This is my Appleton that I named Orange because it's not an out because it's not an orange. But I didn't want to call it Apple because that's lame, and I didn't want to call it Steve because that was probably too cliched. Um, this I got. I think I, I think I caught my own Apple in um, in a Max raid that I wonder traded it for something. So then um, I, I got a different Apple in from a wonder trade, and then I leveled it up, and it is actually pretty awesome. <laughs> It's kind of a silly idea, but I really like the way that they designed him. Like, I, I, a, a lot of time and effort went into the design of this Pokemon. So, he, he looks really cool. He, he's not very... Like, he, he's not very fast, but he is a very good Pokemon. And he, he gains experience so fast. Like, he's level 64, just because he just keeps earning experience. I mean, he, he is traded... But he, he seems to level up, like, even faster than that. The only problem is that his ability is kind of useless. But he's got a lot of HP. He's definitely a special attacker. But he can also do physical attacks. He's really slow, but he's a dragon type. So he's kind of a decent tank all around. So he knows Apple Acid, Dragon Pulse, Energy Ball, and Leech Seed. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then over here we've got Excalibur. He's the same. And then Siegfried is the newest member of the team. Siegfried, I leveled him up last night, and I was going to make a video out of it, but I didn't I didn't end up doing it because I was getting frustrated and I didn't think it would be entertaining. But in case you don't already know, to evolve a far-fetched into a, into, um, a sir-fetched, it has to get three critical hits in one battle. Now that is a normally kind of a hard feat because critical hits are not very common. Even if you're using moves that have a high critical hit ratio, you would only have a very high one if you do that. But I went online and I found a strategy that actually really, really worked. It took me a couple of times, and I had to level him up to level 60 before he could even, you know, survive any attacks. But eventually I got it. So the trick is, first things first, check summary. We'll do this. What you do is you find the ingredient called the large leak. Then you give that to him, and that boosts his critical hit ratio. And I don't think it would do anything else to anybody else. Um, I don't know if it boosts it more than um, something like the Scope Lens or the Razor Claw, which are other things that I already have and have given to different Pokemon. But anyway, so you do that, you put him in a battle, and then you use Dire Hits on him, which are like the only useful things out of all of those in-battle power-up things. 
So you use one dire hit, and if he's holding a large leak and using a move that has a high critical hit ratio, or just any move in general, then you're basically going to get a critical hit like every three times. So then it was a matter of finding the right Pokemon because um, you have to use a move that's weak enough that even critted is not going to do enough damage because you have to be able to land three. The only other way is if you do it against the trainer, but I kind of like beat all the trainers already. So um, I didn't realize it until after I already evolved him, but you, as the champion, you have the ability to go to Winden and then you can hold a tournament whenever you want and that's a great way to get money and it's a great way to level up other Pokemon, so I might do that. And it, it's basically just other people coming to challenge you, just like how we fought our way through the tournament to get our chance to battle Leon. It's the exact same thing, um, and you can host that, like, whenever you want to. So, if I had known that, then I probably would have done better, but I didn't at the time. So, whatever. But, anyway. So you give him the, the dire hit, and what I ended up doing was I found that the wob effects that you can find in the wild near the entrance to Motostoke in the wild area... Um, are the perfect targets because they don't have any attacks. And the worst thing that they can do is use counter on you. Okay, that was really annoying and really unhelpful. So my, my laptop was fine. It was still running, still recording, but my computer crashed. It did that blue screen of death that, that, that occurs for absolutely no reason. <laughs> you guys probably have this too. I don't know if it's because my computer has a virus or because it's old or just a combination of a bunch of other things, but every now and then, for absolutely no reason at all, it just turns itself off, claiming that there was a problem and it needs to restart. And I didn't, and, and I was in the middle of recording audio. Luckily, Audacity is awesome and I was able to recover it, so now I'm starting the second part of this, which is just going to make it that much harder for me to edit this episode together because it was synced when I started it, but it won't be now. Anyway, so, uh,. I gotta figure... Th I'll, I'll make this work. Don't worry. I'm, I'm decent enough at editing. So I was saying that um, I was talking about Surfetched, and I was battling against Wobbuffets, which um, the only reason it was hard was because occasionally they will use Destiny Bond, and I actually did manage to get the three crits on my first try against the Wobbuffet, but with Destiny Bond, it also made Siegfried faint, and he has to be alive to evolve, I learned the hard way. So then... Like, two or three more Wobbuffets later, then he finally evolved, and it was so satisfying. So, Surfe Siegfried's moveset right now is not the greatest, but out of all the Pokémon I have, even the other fighting types, he easily has the highest base attack stat at 212. Let me just, let me just run this through you here, okay? So let's check what Goober's base attack is. 144. Let's check what... Mahjong is. Mahjong is a, like, he's a pseudo-legendary dragon fighting, and even his attack is only 180. Now let's look at Cuddles' base attack. Okay? Cuddles' base attack is 203. So that's, that is easily the highest out of all of them. It's almost 10 points higher. It's like 9 points higher. So Siegfried is a beast, but his current moveset is not the greatest, because... Um, he doesn't learn that many moves. He knows Fury Cutter, Brick Break, Leaf's Blade, and Swords Dance. So, finding him some new moves is what we're gonna do. But, I, I, I was using Leaf Blade, because, originally, because critical hits are more likely. So, with the, with the Dire Hit, and with the, the, the Leak that he's holding, it was basically a critical hit every time. But it did so much damage that it would kill things, and he couldn't get the three. So, eventually I evolved him, and it didn't matter, so Sieg Siegfried is just sitting there. And in case you can't already know, I named him after the fighting character in Soul Calibur. Um, I think, I, I don't know a lot about the lore of Soul Calibur, but I think the idea is that during the events of Soul Calibur 2, the knight Siegfried was the body that Nightmare was using as a, like a, as a vessel or something. And then, in, and then in Soul Calibur 3, Siegfried broke free and then broke the curse, and then Nightmare created a new body with somebody else. So he has a big giant sword, and when I was playing with this Farfetch, because he has this big giant leak, the way that he swings it with two hands in battle really reminded me a lot of Siegfried with his big giant sword, so I named him Siegfried. So, that is basically all the new party members that I've got. Um, Hermione, I kind of want to turn her into a Gardevoir, just because I don't really feel like leveling up uh, Sparkle over here. Um, I, I'm kind of over her. 
Uh, Nessie didn't die, I just don't really need her. And Eternatus, I don't really want him. I just put him here because I don't want to have my Master Ball in my party and then in my in my inventory and then accidentally use it. And then uh, the the T-1000 is just sitting here because I kind of got tired of him too. So, let us do a little bit of stuff here. I, I did one Max Raid battle at the beginning and I was in the process of selling things. So I, I used the time when it took for my computer to restart to sell a bunch of stuff. So I got... How do I have so many of these? I don't even know what's happening here. Okay, so we got four XLs. We got one rare candy. Let's use the rare candy right now on Dr. Fetus. Get him up to, to a nice level of 60. And then Dynamax candies. Who needs these? I don't remember who it is exactly, but I know that one of them I'm trying to level up. So Dr. Fetus can go over here. Who needs these? Because I, I know that there's a couple of people I have in here that I try and max out like that. Okay, you're maxed. You're not. You're not. You're not. You have nothing. You're not. You are maxed. Uh, you are not maxed, so I think I can give you three there, Zidane. And then... You know what? No, I'm probably not going to use him. I'm probably going to use Pyrrha instead. So let's bring in Siegfried, and I'm going to give him as many candies as he can take, because... Siegfried is basically just going to be, like, our MVP, because he's just so powerful. Alright, so I have enough to give him three, so that will work out nicely. Now, are there any moves here that he can learn? We got a lot of TRs here, guys. Look at all this stuff. And I ended up, like, almost bankrupting myself just because of how many different of the, like, vitamins I ended up buying, because I needed to get Siegfried up so that he could, like, take some hits. So I, I leveled up his defenses, and I leveled up his HP, and I leveled up his speed, and then I did other things with some of the other people that I was leveling up. So right now I've got $260,000, um, and that's a decent amount, um, but there was a time when I had like $1,100, so, no, $11,000. It came really close, because 10, just like 10 of any of those proteins is easily $100,000 right there. So, I was, I was doing a lot of tricky and sneaky things to get some experience for that. But, let's see, can you learn any of these, though, Siegfried, is the question. Brutal Swing, you can learn. Air Slash, you can't learn. You can't learn this. 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 This. Oh, you can do Retaliate, but like everyone can do Retaliate. I don't like Retaliate, because it's too situational. I like moves that are just solid damage. Can you do Psycho Cut? Can you do these? No. Can you do this? No. Can you do this? No. Can you do... Uh, can you do this one? You know that one. Um, can you do... Uh, let's see. There is no... Oh, you can learn Steel Wing, but that's only... It's not even going to have Stab for that. Oh, you can do Solar Blade. That would be pretty cool. But you already know Leaf Blade, though. Alright, so we gotta find some better TRs for Siegfried. Let's see. I know that he can learn a move called Final Gambit, but in order for that to work, he has to have already used all of the other moves in his um, arsenal at least once. But I don't think I've been here since he evolved. Now, here it is. So, the... The, the user risks everything to attack its target. The user faints, but it does damage equal to its HP. You know what? I might, have, <clears throat> I might as well just use this and get rid of Swords Dance, just because I might as well do something. And then if I find better moves, or if he's able to learn other ones like with different TRs, then we'll do that. Um, okay, so that's that done. So we're at 31 minutes now, but that's that's how long the recording of the, the game footage has been going for. Um, and I have no idea how long the audio has been going for, so this is going to be a really fragmented episode. And if you want to blame something, blame my computer for crashing for no particular reason. Okay, so now it's time for, um, let's see, who else needs these? I'm pretty sure Excalibur is maxed already. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did that. Yeah, he's maxed. You're not. You are maxed. You're not. You are maxed. You are not yet. You are maxed. You are not. We can max out, uh, we can max out orange here. Um, 
I like the way when it's an applin, I, I like the way that it, um, it basically rolls around, like, in its apple that it's, that it's got on its body. That was a, kind of a pretty cool aesthetic thing. I don't have footage of me with it, but it, it rolls forward, because the, the, it's basically like a little worm in an apple, and then it, like, rolls itself forward. So, yeah. Like, it looks really big in this picture, but it's actually only, like, one, it's like a foot tall, I think. Let me, let me check, because I remember that it's not as big as it looks. Um, what do we got here? Uh, where is he? He'll probably be lower down here. Uh, where are you, Applin? I don't even know what that's from. It just kind of came to me. Uh, but here he is. Yeah, so I don't have Flapple because I'm pretty sure that's the one that's exclusive to uh, this guy. But uh, I do have Appleton. And these, these guys both have the same... Gigantamax thing. I think that's how it looks. They, they both look like that. Yeah, so Appleton, Flapple. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, so he's only a foot, he's only one foot four, and he only weighs 28 pounds, but he's got like 200 HP, so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Anyway, so we have a lot of different candies and stuff here, so let's go and arrange these by type. And I'm going to give one of these to the beast. No. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give one of these to Halucha and see how much that does, because he was traded. So this should get him a lot of experience here. That's it? Man. Feather dance? No. Submission? No. It hurts you too. Bounce? Uh sure. Let's go, uh, detect. Probably never gonna use it. Taunt? Absolutely not. Okay. One more. Let's go, Halucha. You've got this. Go! Wants to learn Roost? No. I thought I said no. Okay. Swords Dance? No. When do you learn your your flying thing, your your special move there? All right, let's give one XL to Hermione. So now she should evolve, because she evolves at 20, and then I think she evolves again at 36. And I want a Gardevoir, because I've already got enough fighting types. Psybeam, sure. Let's go. Um, let's get rid of Confusion for that. Life do? No, I don't need that. Charm? Don't need that. Calm mind? Don't need that. Psychic? Sure, let's go with it. Um, let's do... Uh, probably get rid of Psybeam for that. There's probably some better TRs that'll do more damage than Psybeam. And go, Evolution! Yay! Go, Hermione! I might change your name. I don't really like that. Okay... Alright, now she's a Curlia. See, like, Curlia does not look like there should be male Curlias. See, I, I don't, I, that's not a new Pokemon, though, because I already had a Curlia. Alright, so let's use these nine things on you. See how much this gets you. 27,000 experience. That's pretty good. Okay, now she should evolve again, and she's gonna learn. You already tried to learn Calm Mind. Why are you doing this to me, Hermione? Just evolve. I'm sick of you. I don't want to see you anymore. We're done. Oh, yes. Evolution! Cool! Alrighty, then. So, like, there's, there's just something really satisfying about that to me. What are you gonna learn now? Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, okay. And... You're definitely gonna be a special attacker. Oh, yeah, look at that. Your special attack is... Damn near double what your attack is. I need to give you some stuff, though, because... You kinda suck right now. Alright, so draining... Let's get rid of Disarming Voice right now. And we'll see if there's anything else that you can do here. Um, let's go... Dazzling Gleam, you know. 
Uh, X Scissor, Dragon Claw, Waterfall, Thunderbolt, Surf, two. Smart Strike, Drain in case you know that, or you did know it at one point. Been a shot, Cross Poison. You can't learn Psycho Cut. A Gallade could learn Psycho Cut. You can't learn Shadow Claw. Um, Brick Break. Chew. You can learn that. Or, yeah, nothing. Ooh, wait, can you learn Pollen Puff? I've always wanted a Pokemon that can actually learn that. But so far, it doesn't. It looks like Butterfree is like the only Pokemon that can actually learn it. All right, so let's go with this for you, and I want you to learn Moonblast because that is a good move. And we're going to get rid of. Um, we're going to get rid of. Uh, let's go Hypnosis for that. And then if you can do like Future Sight or something, that would be really cool too. Well, what else is in here? Hermione's here, and you can learn, uh, the user faints, place, it, it, it taking its place, the, have its, no, I don't need that. Life do, calm mind wish, Psybeam. Now, if I can get the future sight TR, that would be awesome. So I think that's what I'm going to aim for. And maybe we will rename you to, um... Let's go with, I don't know, let's just call you Sabrina, I guess. Sabrina. Yay! Okay, did I put an R in there, or did I accidentally call her Sabina? No, that, there's an R in there. Alright. So, now she needs to get, like, another 24 levels. So, we're gonna do... One more XL candy on you, Sabrina. That really doesn't help as much as I thought it was going to. Um, let's guess just do six of these. I'm gonna have to do some more raids and get more. Because it's just taken so much just to get these guys up. Heal Pulse. No. Okay, let's go all the way. Let's go 10 and see what level that'll get her to. She'll probably get just right. Oh, so close. Dream Eater. No. Look how close she is, guys. That That is evil. That That's diabolical. Okay, so I'm going to go and do a little bit of work around with this. Get everybody up and um, then... We will start the next episode. Hopefully my computer won't crash again in the next episode. And we'll start the next episode, and we're going to go to Sir Chester and do that battle against Morimoto, or whatever his name is. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry about the crash. Not much I can do about that. Computers be computers. I really need a new computer. I'm actually getting a gaming laptop that my school is paying for, and I'll get to keep it even after I'm done school. That's going to be pretty exciting. But it's not going to be like a computer computer, it's going to be a laptop, which is definitely going to be better than this piece of crap that I've got here. I have really bad luck with laptops though, like I did not do anything to this thing, I swear, and there's already a big giant crack on this screen, and this, can, this laptop's only like three or four years old, so yeah, I have really bad luck, but hopefully it'll have insurance, and it is going to be a gaming laptop, which will be very, very powerful. So I might even be able to do some editing on this thing. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I don't know when it's coming, but it, it has been ordered. I got distracted again. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.